So this question says 2w plus 4t equals 14 and 4w plus 5t equals 25. Uh, what is the value of 2w plus 3t? So I'm going to write down these equations that we have. So we have 2w plus 4t equals 14. And because the second equation has the same exact variables, I'm going to write it underneath and really treat this like a system of equations. Okay. Now, I'm looking for 2w plus 3t, but I'm not going to worry about that for right now. I'm going to just say, hey, I have a system of equations here. How would I solve this system of equations? How would I figure out the values of w and t? Well, if I were to multiply this top equation by negative 2, that would lead that entire top equation to become negative 4w minus 8t equals negative 28. And now when I add that to the second equation, I have a positive 4w plus 5t equals 25. Now, why did I multiply by negative 2? Well, I did that so that these w's could cross out. Like, this is the process called elimination. All right, so it's one of the processes that you can use whenever you have a system of equations. Now, when I continue to add these all together, negative 8t plus 5t is negative 3t, and negative 28 uh, plus 25 is actually equal to negative 3, which then tells me that t is equal to positive 1. All right, so I know t is 1. All right, so now I need to figure out what w is. So what I do is I go back to one of my original equations. Let's just use the one that I already have kind of circled here. And say, well, 4w plus 5 times t, but now I know that t is 1, is equal to 25. So that means 4w plus 5 equals 25. I can subtract 5 from both sides, and I'm left with 4w equals 20, divide by 4, and I have w equals 5. So now I know what my w value is. So t equals 1, and w equals 5. The question wants me to figure out the value of 2w plus 3t, so I just substitute, right? So it becomes 2 times 5 plus 3 times 1, which is 10 plus 3, which equals 13, and therefore the correct answer here is choice C.